What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video. Today we are going to be talking about why I think that if you are thinking about stacking graded coins, why you should buy graded coins rather than send them in to be graded yourself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so one thing a lot of people have been talking about with the new V75 American Silver Eagle is, should I get it graded? Should I send it in to be graded? What should I do? So I want to talk about that and how I used to be in the same spot about a year ago. And I'm going to talk to you about, you know, my experience with sending a coin off to be graded and why I personally think it's better to just buy the coin already graded. So, uh, first I'm going to show you all my Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle, which came back to me graded Proof 69. Now, that was a big bummer because... I was hoping to get a proof 70 so that my coin would substantially increase in value. It ended up being a proof 69 and not, not worth very much more than if I just left the coin raw. Now, the difference with this coin is PCGS decided to slab the certificate of authenticity with matching numbers to the coin. So I also have the slab COA and the slab coin and the numbers are matching. So that's a bonus. And that's not something that uh, you can, you'll be able to do forever, I don't believe. Um, I believe there's probably a time frame on that service. And also you had to have sent them the coin in the box with the COA from the Mint. So you, when you got your coin from the Mint, you had to just slap a label on it and send it off to them to be graded. And so, you couldn't even open it up and look at the coin, so you were really just kind of risking it all together. But having the COA slabbed, that's not a bad bad thing to have with this coin. Now, back to the topic, buying graded coins versus sending them off yourself. I want to talk about why I think it's a better deal to buy the graded coin already graded. There are a lot of people who like sending off coins to be graded, and that's cool. If you are one of those people, there's nothing wrong with that. That is totally cool. However, I think it is a better deal to buy graded coins on the secondary market because you can usually find them for A, not that bad of a deal, and B, around what you probably would pay to send the coin to be graded anyways, and you're not risking getting a lower than satisfactory grade. Now, take for instance these silver quarters I have recently picked up as of late. This Proof 70 Deep Cameo First Strike Marsh Billings Silver Quarter is an epic piece and I got it for $15 I want it on an eBay option for $15, and that really can't be beat. If I would have sent this coin off to be graded, it probably would have cost me about 50 bucks by itself. Now, there are people who do these bulk grading things, and they, and they get it for a lower price overall, but I don't know that you can really get it down to, what, $9 minus the actual silver coin cost? Because the coin's about five or six bucks. So we're looking at nine dollars extra to get it in proof 70 deep cameo. Even if I could get the grading down to nine dollars a coin, I'm not so sure that it would even come back a 70. It could be a 69, it could be something a little lower. And that would be a huge bummer and a huge waste of time and a huge waste of money. 
Instead, I just negate all the risk. I negate all the extra costs of grading and just buy the coin by itself. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, well, you know, like uh, like the V75 that recently came out. If you bought it, uh, obviously you spent like 83 bucks from the U.S. Mint and you can send it off to be graded for like maybe 100 bucks after you... Well, no, it's going to be more than 100 bucks uh, because you're going to need a PCGS or NGC membership, and that's 70 bucks right off the bat for the bottom tier, typically around there. And then the cost of grading is going to be minimum about 50 bucks. Then you're going to have to pay for shipping, and that's going to be probably five bucks. So we're looking at 55, 70, $125 minimum to send off the v75 to be graded um the coin is 83 dollars, so we're looking at a total of a just over 250 bucks and you might be able to find a proof 70 for 250 bucks a year or two from now i i hate saying that and i hate i hate being that guy that's like oh this coin's gonna be worthless it won't be worthless, but I, I just see the hype dying down, and I see it being less valuable in the near future and even more val- valuable in the distant future. But 250 bucks to have a perfect graded coin. Mm, it might not even come back a perfect grade is the thing. I know from personal experience, you send off a coin, it's not guaranteed a perfect grade. Uh, if you want something like first strike, like this, it's going to cost you extra. They they nickel and dime you everywhere you go. If you want the deep cameo, all this stuff, they nickel and dime you left and right. They also have other services, like they'll take pictures of the coin and then connect it with the, CO, or the, um, the, the serial number on the slab. And, and that costs an extra five, ten bucks. Like they, they nickel and dime you on every little added bonus. And the fact that this is first strike and and deep cameo and everything, I mean, 15 bucks is a steal. Now, um, again, I'm still up on this coin because this coin is stupid rare. The V75, I don't, I don't know how rare it will be, and I don't know how much it will cost, again, in the near future. So, in my opinion, guys... It's best to just try and scope out the deals and find yourself an already graded coin. If you want something that is made recently, like the V75, wait one year. uh, And if I'm completely wrong, come back to this video. Put a comment in the comment section below. Just comment whatever a year from now and be like, look, this coin's worth like $2,000 now. And I'll send you five bucks or something. I don't know. I'll send you something, but I have a strong feeling that a year from now when the hype dies on the V75, it will come down in cost, and you might be able to find a proof 70 for like 200, 250 bucks, probably a first strike, probably all the bells and whistles on the grading service, and you didn't have to do anything other than just wait. Um, If you have a new coin that you want in a perfect grade, rather than buying it, getting the grading membership sending it off, risking getting something lower than 70. Wait until the new coin that you want, the hype dies down a bit, and pick it up for, you know, close to what it would cost you to buy the coin and have it graded and added all the bells and whistles. Because then you guarantee yourself a 70. Hold on to it for long enough, And it might be worth something even more because that's the thing, guys. These coins, when they come out, they get hyped up and then they die down and then they become very rare. Um, So that is just something to think about. That is my thoughts as far as graded coins, whether you should just buy coins and send them off to be graded or whether you should just buy them already graded. And what my strategy has become for that process And I plan on talking about it a little more 
uh, in a future video because I have some graded coins coming in that I'm excited to show for you guys. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this subject, but I wanted to make a video talking specifically about this subject and what my thoughts and ideas and plans and things like that are uh, going forward. How to maximize the value of the coins that I'm picking up and maximize my potential increase in value and return on investment and everything like that. Because at the end of the day, these are investments. People don't like calling metals and coins and stuff investments. They're investments, okay? They're collectibles. You, you intend on uh, securing some sort of value in these things. And like I said in a previous video about specifically these quarters, picking them up for 15 bucks now, if you look at the statehood quarters, which came out about 10 to 20 years ago, they're selling for 20, 30, 40 bucks a coin in perfect grades. These are selling for 15 bucks a coin because they're fairly new in perfect grades. So if I pick up as many of these as I can and then sell them later on for 30, 40 bucks, I'm doubling, tripling my money. Whereas silver might have not gone up that much by itself. So who, who really knows, you know? But I am starting to get more into this grading kind of scheme. Or not scheme, so to speak, but uh, scene. Um, I, I do enjoy these coins. And, you know, I really got to credit uh, my man Fish for kind of, you know, getting me into the graded coins because he posts a lot of videos of his like Morgans and uh, you know things like that so quick shout out to him I've shouted him out a billion times but another shout out there you have it fish -o, always showing up in my videos but um yeah check out fish he, he's got an amazing Morgan collection and I hope to one day have an amazing, you know, uh, silver quarter collection, maybe some limited eagles and just things like that. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video talking about kind of my approach to grading going forward and, and stacking grading coins and just getting into graded coins in general. I think there is a potential for graded coins to increase in value. I do think that the perfect grades will increase in value substantially. And one last note I want to make is I'm not sold on, you know, graded modern bullion, brilliant, uncirculated bullion. Here's the thing. I think, and there's no actual proof to this, nobody, no official word that this is the case, but I'm just going to make a strong guess that when the Mint puts out coins like this and somewhat like this, they do a little bit more to ensure that the coin stays flawless. Um, I know some of these coins did come out and had flaws on them and stuff like that, but uh, as far as Milk Spots... I think they probably do a better job in the way they handle the planches and just the whole process of making these coins. Because they make so few of them, it's much easier to just sit there and make sure that all of the machinery, all of the materials, everything is clean and safe and everything to ensure that your coin never milk spots. As far as bullion, they're probably just straight pumping them out, coin, 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 because they mint millions of them. So they're not too concerned with that, and they know that people are buying them a buck or two over spot, at least back in the day, and, and they're not concerned with that. But these coins, like proofs, reverse proofs, things like that, I think the mint does a little bit more to ensure that the quality remains high. So if you're looking into getting graded coins, I would suggest sticking to either uh, very old, you know, silver dollars or something like that, or very numismatic coins, proofs, reverse proofs, 
things like of that nature. I would not suggest getting an MS-70 2020 American Silver Eagle, just plain old bullion. I would not suggest doing that because I've just seen way too many instances on eBay and the like where someone is selling a perfect coin and it has milk spotted in the slab. I am not so worried about this coin doing that. I it, Could it do it? There is a possibility. Will it? I think it's highly unlikely. If it was a regular bullion coin, I think it would be somewhat very much likely. Um, but as far as this, I think I'm in safe hands. And these, I think, are also in safe hands in the slabs. So I don't think there's any worry there. But yeah, guys, a little bit longer video today. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of mention that and just give my thoughts and opinions on it. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on it. Let me know any kind of criticism you have towards my ideas or any positive ideas that you have or anything like that. Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, guys, we will see you.